Okay, welcome back to question uh, 7b of the Computer Practice N5 question paper, November 2023. Continue this is the part 2. I did the part 1 because we couldn't finish it. We're going to finish it on this part 2. We're still continuing with uh, our spreadsheet question, which is on, uh, which is like uh, worth 40 marks. And then we did the first part, which is worth like uh, 20 marks. And then we're going to continue with the next part. In the first part, we ended at, uh, at D. Now we're going to continue from, uh, we're going to continue from E up to J. We're going to complete our spreadsheet uh, at discount allowed and we're going to look what the instruction is saying about discount allowed. So this is what the instruction is saying about discount allowed, which is now post, uh, put at E. It says if discount is allowed, then calculate the discount allowed as 5% of total paid. Total paid is a column. We already calculated it. Otherwise, the discount allowed should be what zero. So, our answer should be either five percent of total paid or zero. So we need to substitute this. So he said, if discount allowed, uh, if discount is allowed, remember discount allowed. In the previous question, it was put with a yes or a no. So, where there is a yes it means discount is allowed where there is a no discount is not where there is a no a discount is not allowed so we're only focusing on where there is a yes and where there is a yes we put five percent it is an expanded definition of a, an if fine sheet let us do the substitutions we're gonna continue using the if function again but with an expanded formulas because we still have an if and then we know that they say if this card is allowed it means we are going to look for a yes on the it and then if we find a yes we must calculate five percent and then otherwise we must just put a zero so let us go to the spreadsheet and see how the formula is gonna pan out so now here is our spreadsheet so where there is a yes we should calculate five percent let us apply the if function and see how it comes out. We're going to go to the first cell and then go to our logical, which is a part of our uh, formulas, logical, if, then they said if what? I'm going to put it here. If, which means, which, uh, which is the cell, cell H8, the one with the yes or no, which is the discount yes or no, and then they said what? If H8 is equals to yes, you put the inverted commas. If it's close to yes, and then you close them. Then the answer should be what? The true value should be that then you must go to total which is the g and multiply the g by what by five percent so you are calculating a discount allowed and then otherwise what must be the solution you must put a zero so it says if h8 is equals to yes the answer must be five percent of the total paid otherwise there must be nothing it must be a zero let us see what the solution becomes press ok so this one it doesn't qualify so we do the fill down or drag down the formula we realize that we only having a yes on two and then it calculated that the discount on five uh, or, or on 5% discount 
on those two because they qualified. You have to note how the formula is structured. Every time we are looking for a text, we use inverted commas. We use a yes in inverted commas. There is a, a equal sign there, but inverted commas we use uh, uh, to, to, to cover our our, our, our answer that the, the, uh, the, the way that you're looking for we put it in inverted commas that's the key thing that you need to to learn in terms of this this formula and then also you realize that uh, in terms of numbers we just use signs equal sign greater than or less than so that's a lesson to learn from this part okay guys we're going to be recording the next part or, or, or of this question paper in the next video where we're going to be using e uh, expanded formulas which are very important which are like count if and then also f uh, sum if they are very important you need to learn them watch the next video um, i'm posting this one because i want to be within the nine minutes limit thank you for watching